Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, a quiet start to the month of March, and tomorrow was supposed to be the Kentucky statewide tornado drill, but Weather Service has postponed it because of some serious flooding that continues in central and eastern portions of the bluegrass, so they're going to reschedule that tornado drill for later in the month. But a nice quiet week of weather will turn into a nice quiet weekend, and really, next seven days looking uh, pretty nice before this pattern finally breaks down. Highs today, upper 40s to uh, lower 50s around the area. And uh, tomorrow should be, I'd say, a good 10 degrees warmer than what we have out there this afternoon. But it will be the warmest day of the week. Not that the other two days are going to be all that bad, but uh, tomorrow will be the day to take advantage of. And we've got all the rivers that are going to be experiencing some minor flooding. I run these down in detail at, on Eyewitness News at 9 o'clock on the CW7. And you can see these on our website on our weather wall, which is on the uh, weather section of tristatehomepage.com. But no rain out there now, not expecting anything for the next week. And that's a nice change of pace. But now that meteorological winter is over with, December, January, and February, we can take a look at the numbers. And it's really interesting because December and January were warmer than normal. February was really colder than normal, and the average worked out to be 34.8, which is exactly on the normal temperature when you uh, average out the climatological record. The extremes all occurred in February. Just last Sunday, that was the high, 69, and we hit 2 degrees for the low back on the 16th and 17th of February. We had 15 days with high temperatures at or below freezing, most of those in that deep freeze we had in the middle of February, and we enjoyed 6 days in the 60s this winter and the precipitation also very close to normal at 10.11 inches just about a, a tenth of an inch above the average snowfall though continued to be below normal at 6.5 nearly four inches below the average well here's a live view from downtown evansville it's our zemer funeral home tower camera out of downtown off the top of Fifth Third Bank, 35 degrees with a calm wind and temperatures now settling through the mid-30s. We'll drop just a few more degrees overnight and kind of level off in the low 30s by daybreak tomorrow. We had a system pass to our south today, bringing a lot of rain through the southeastern part of the country. It did throw some high clouds up into western Kentucky this afternoon, but they have cleared on out. And that bodes well for tomorrow and Thursday before another system takes a similar path to our south on Friday. So future tracker painting a sunny day tomorrow. Temperatures about 10 degrees warmer. Forecasting generally low 60s, maybe some upper 50s here in the northeast corner of the tri-state, but forecasting 61 for Evansville tomorrow. We'll hang on to clear skies tomorrow night. And then a dry cold front comes on through, dropping the temperatures a notch for Thursday, but still a nice sunny day with high temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. On Friday, though, another system passing to our south will throw clouds our way by daybreak on Friday. They'll thicken up as we head through the day. Highs will be around 50, a lot like today, but it will be dry with the thicker clouds to the south, and all these will clear out in time for a nice weekend. So overnight tonight, clear 30 to 34, and then sunny and warmer tomorrow, 59 to 62 for the high, and it's still a great-looking seven-day forecast. We cool down a bit on Thursday, but plenty of sunshine, a high of 56. The clouds thicken up on Friday, it's especially in western Kentucky, but it stays dry, cooler, but seasonable, the high around 50. And then the first weekend of March looks mostly sunny, seasonable, 52 Saturday, 57 Sunday. Then we're warming through the low to mid 60s early next week, and it looks like our next chance of precipitation, and it will be rain, will be arriving probably Wednesday of next week. So Brad and Shelley, normally an active time of the year when we're dealing with showers, thunderstorms, severe weather, a nice start to, to March, and an extended dry spell that will carry us well into next week. All right. Thanks a lot, yeah. Wayne. And speaking